pretty quiet afternoon across the Rio Grande Valley. We have a lot of drier air coming in aloft. So a lot of course humidity at the surface, but that's kind of keeping things pretty quiet out there. Now the sea breeze is already starting to make its way westward and we could see maybe a couple of little isolated showers here and there this afternoon. But if we see anything, it's going to be extremely isolated. And so even though I have 20% on the map today, that might be a little bit of a stretch. But notice as the sea breeze went westward, you saw those couple little pops there. Not even popcorn, it was just some pops. <laughs> That's about all there was. And so uh, for Thursday night football, it's going to be looking good out there. Uh, not much going on overnight tonight. It's going to be a pretty quiet Friday morning as well. Now the tropical moisture is going to start to increase across the area tomorrow in the weekend. So we could bring those rain chances up a little bit. But as kiddos head on this afternoon, mid and upper 90s. But the really more important thing here is that that heat index, what it feels like. This afternoon is going to be about 105 to 108 inland, and we're already seeing those heat index values out there uh, around 100 to 104. So expect to see that more than anything else. East winds 5 to 15 miles an hour. They'll be gusting up around 20. And again, that feels like even on the island is going to be right around that 100 degree mark for this afternoon. So make sure you stay hydrated and follow all the rules there. On the island today, 86, surf running 85 and 1 to 2 feet. Still looking at a high rip current risk. And of course, with all the sunshine, UV index is extreme. So without any sunscreen, you can burn in as little as 10 minutes. So we're going to take a look at the tropics now. So uh, Harold is just a memory. Saharan dust still across a big part of the Atlantic Basin. Hurricane Center watching a couple areas. This one here, back back, both of them look like they're going to be more of a just kind of hanging out in the Atlantic. 40% chance with this area of low pressure. The one further north in the red, that's 70%. Again, not a risk for the U.S. mainland at this time. And neither is Franklin. Franklin now has increased in speed a little bit to 60 mile per hour. Still forecast to become a Category 1 hurricane over the next 24 hours as it moves slowly off towards the north and northeast there. So that's not going to be a problem. And then the Hurricane Center is watching this area, potential area of low pressure moving across Central America into the southwestern Caribbean and then move, moving north northeastward. So that's what's going to help push tropical moisture in our direction for tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. So our rain chances will go up. However, I'm not expecting much else from this. As you'll see on this particular computer model here, as that area moves off towards the north, you're going to see high pressure up towards the north of it and a frontal boundary that's going to be shifting southward. And that should push anything that comes our direction well off towards the east as we go into early part next week. So if anything right now, what it looks like is we just have increased tropical moisture aloft and that helps the sea breeze become more active tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. So for Friday night football, as is typical with the sea breeze by six, seven o'clock in the evening, it's all out of here and the rainfall estimates over the next seven days, not real impressive, but hopefully we get some rain. We still need some around here. But speaking of Friday night football, we will be out at uh, Boga Stadium tomorrow, CBS on the road. Come by and stay, say hi. It's the Bird Bowl. Harlingen High versus Harlingen South. Again, any sea breeze shower should be over with right around 7 o'clock, if not sooner. And then just looking at a pretty nice evening, just warm and humid. But again, we could handle that. No problem there. 7 day forecast then with the weekend in view, of course. And we've got, again, increasing chances of those sea breeze showers tomorrow, Friday, or sorry, tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, and then 100 degree heat. I think the rain will come to an end later in the day, Sunday, especially for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And real quick, go on to valleycentral.com and register when our generator giveaway, courtesy of Mott's Building Materials, between now and September 15th. You can go online and register to win with hurricane season in full swing, Daisy. It's good to have a generator.